In our layout editor series, we will look at how to create our 2D deliverables from a 3D model in AllPlan, focusing specifically on generating the drawing sheets. In our last video, we looked at how to create the drawing sheets. In this third video, we will look at how to publish our drawing set. Now that we've generated all of our drawing sheets, we're ready to print. This process will be similar when printing to a hard printer, but in this video, we'll focus on printing to PDF. Click on the Print Layouts command in the ribbon to get started. On the left, we'll see the properties that will control how this gets printed. Note the print profile is where you go to set the line weights associated with the colors for plotting, also where you can set print to grayscale or print black and white. The print profile is beyond the scope of this video, but I encourage you to explore it and read more about it in the help menu. The first option for layout allows you to choose which sheets will be printed. The currently active sheet is automatically selected. Click on this button to open the selection window. Here you can choose individual sheets or click on the All Layouts checkbox to select the entire set. Note that you could also organize your sheets into layers and levels just like you do your drawing files and then you could select different sets here as well. So there's a lot that you can do with this, but for the purpose of this video we're keeping it simple. You can see now the button lists all the sheets that will be printed. Next, we can control what elements are printed. Here we can check on to print or check off to not print specific element types. Something to note here, if you're seeing extra borders around your objects, you may want to verify that the borders are, are turned off. Now set up the printer. All printers on your computer will be listed here. Your printer selection will control the available paper sizes and print options. For example, if you select a typical office printer, you will not be able to plot to a large sheet such as 24 by 36. If you have a PDF program such as Adobe or Bluebeam, select those options when printing to PDF. If not, you can use the Microsoft Print to PDF option. You can also keep your default plotter and not change it here. You'll see that we'll still have an option to export to PDF without physically printing. For the format, you can change the paper size or use the as in layout option to match what you've already set up. Now there are more options here and I encourage you to see how they will impact your finished product. For now, we'll keep the defaults and look to the output mode. If you are printing to a hard copy, you will need to turn on the option to print. However, for printing to a PDF printer such as Adobe or Bluebeam, I recommend instead the PDF export option. Note that you can print to a physical printer and to a PDF by checking on both of these options. When printing to PDF, click on the set command here. On this screen, you can set the path of where this file will be saved to. Here too, you can choose to have the sheets exported to a single file. If this is unchecked, you will get a separate PDF for each drawing sheet. There are also other options here for controlling the PDF, and these will also impact the final file size. Once you're happy with all of the settings, click Save to start printing or exporting to PDF. If selected, AllPlan will export to PDF and automatically open your default PDF viewer. You can now review your completed PDF set. That brings us to the end of this video and our series on the layout editor and generating a set of drawings in all plans.